Amen, amen. Father, we thank you. We thank you, thank you, thank you for your people. We thank you, Lord, that their ears are open, that the eyes of their understanding are enlightened, and then what the hope of their calling is, an exceedingly great power that works on the inside of them, which is the Word of God. So we're here to put a connection with the Word. Amen. Last night I was uh, in the front room just going over some scriptures and prayer. And as I was, the Lord just, I was actually asleep. And I woke up in the Spirit. Went to sleep in the spirit, dreamed in the spirit, woke up in the spirit, and this just kept going over and over and over on the inside of me. He said, tell the people this, tell my people this. It's actually 10 things, probably 12 altogether, uh, for next, for now, but also next year, that God is wanting his people to keep emphasizing uh, one, if you're taking notes, what is the prayer of faith? What is the prayer of faith? Number two, how do you grow in faith? Number three, how do you speak faith? Some people you say, oh, I know how to speak faith. Uh, I sure do hope it happens where well, you're not even speaking faith. <laughs> uh, verse four, how does faith, what does faith sound like? You heard someone talk of faith, what would it sound like? Number five, what does faith go by? What does faith go by? Well, you go, you're like a car. It goes by gasoline or electric or wind power or diesel. You know, what does faith go by? Number six, if you was listening to someone or even yourself, what would faith sound like? Real faith, Bible's faith, the faith language. What would it sound like? That's number six. Number seven, how would you know if you was living in faith? Number eight, where, is, where does faith come from? Where does faith come from? Number nine, what kind of faith is Bible faith? What kind of faith is Bible faith? Number 10, what kind of faith is the God kind of faith? Number 11, is mental faith five senses? Number 11, heart faith. Is it two different kinds of faith? Heart faith and Bible faith, head faith. Is it two different kinds of faith? Well, that's a lot to chew on and I don't know how far we're gonna get, but we're gonna get it. Number one, what is the prayer of faith? The prayer of faith has when you're actually in the prayer of faith that only has one element, only one element of faith in it, okay? So all, and all through the Bible, it says, ask, believe, receive. So well, Pastor Mike, that's three elements. No, you're, you have not prayed the prayer of faith if you're still asking. What are you doing? You're asking. Asking is not the prayer of faith. There's people that ask for stuff all the time, but you have to have the last one to get it to work what you are asking. Number two, believe. The prayer of faith is not believe. It says, well, I believe the Bible. Well, that's nice. So does the devil, but he can't get it to work. Amen. So the very last one, is receive. What is the prayer of faith? Receive. You never leave the spot, the place in your life that you receive. 
So what would that look like? Say you prayed for Joe Blow down the street or your cousin or your aunt or doctor or whoever, and you started crying and asking and pleading and begging, oh, I know someday God's going to save them. But you know you're not even in faith. Hebrews 11.6 says only faith pleases God. Hello. So you're not even praying the prayer of faith. So guess what? It won't happen on your, on your watch. So what would that sound like? Faith is always spoken present tense. I believe I receive. Receive what? What you prayed. Word pray and ask is together. What did you pray? Well, I prayed that God would do this. Then you're not praying the prayer of faith yet. You're still praying the prayer of hope. Then you wonder why it's not working. So what do you have to do? Well, you have to find out. Well, what is, what is the prayer of faith? Then the prayer of faith is the very last word, receive. The word receive, the word now, the word have, the word take is what you would use for receive. Receive is a root word with other stems, like a bicycle with a hub in the middle where the receive is the hub. And all the spokes going out, like on a wagon wheel, old time wagon wheel or bicycle wheel, where those spokes that are going out, those are, those are words that stem out of receive. So you, that would be the language of faith. You would have to talk like that. If you were saying, I prayed, I know God's going to do it because I cried. No word of the Bible says that. Oh, I know God's going to do it because I pray it every day. There's no word God, there's no word of the Bible says that. So how would you know if he even did it? Well, first of all, you'd have to do the very first step. What is it that you're asking for? Well, healing or salvation for somebody or, you know, deliverance from that. So what do you do? Call them on the phone and bawl them out every day and make them mad? No, that's, that, that's, that, that's not even faith. <laughs> that's witchcraft. And so, well, what do you do then? You used to learn to talk faith. Wow, it ain't working. Just look at how they're acting. Faith don't go by the way it looks. Well, that's not working. Look at how I'm feeling. It don't go by the way you feel. We're talking about 12 different things here. God dropped in me to just bring light on it so you can just see. You could even put number 13 on there. How do, how do, you, how do you get examined in faith? You're getting examined in faith right now. See? How do you pray the prayer of faith for whatever it is? Well, the word, uh, you, you can ask, you can believe all you want to all day long, but you're still not praying the prayer of faith yet. When you pray the prayer of faith, you'd simply say, I have. I have. Now, this uh, tissue here, we know how to reach out with our hand and pick it up. So we know we have it. Why? Because we can feel it. We can see it. We can touch it. We can taste it. You know, why? Because we have said we have. You see that? But we have to use the hand of faith. The hand of faith is your mouth. Spoken present tense. I have. I believe I receive. I believe I receive. That means... I don't believe I hope I get it. No, I believe I receive. When? In the future. No, that's not present tense. That's future tense. Well, I prayed and I'm still not healed. That's because you're not operating in faith. Faith would just simply say, I have. I have Isaiah 53, 5 and several dozens and dozens and dozens of healing scriptures. You seem to say, I have. Well, you don't have it. Look at you. You got to run to the bathroom or you're throwing up or you're doing this or you're doing that. 
That means absolutely nothing. You don't have it because your body says you have it. You have it because the Word of God says you have it. I know I'm healed because I quit hurting. What scripture is that? It's not in the Bible. What if you don't quit hurting? I know I'm healed because I can walk. Well, what if you can't walk tomorrow? Are you healed or not? I know I'm financially blessed because I got a stack of money. What if you're broke? Does it change the Bible because you hadn't learned how to receive yet? No. Don't change the Bible. Bit. You're not going to re God's not going to rewrite the Bible for you. No. You're the one that has to say what the Bible says. When you do that, you're connecting with faith. That is the prayer of faith. When you just simply say, I have, and you just say what you have according to the Word of God. When you do that, this is number one. I don't know how long we're going to go on this for this service we will. We'll just keep going until God says to go a different direction. But there's like 12 or maybe more than 12, I'm sure. But the very first basic part of faith is you have to know how to pray in faith. If you don't, it won't work. This is going to solve every problem that you have right now. Just in this very first one. What is the prayer of faith? Faith just simply asks. Now what happens with most people, they mess up because they keep asking. There's no I-N-G or S. It's ask. The Bible says ask. It don't say keep asking, keep praying. No. You may do that for a while, then you realize you thought you was being spiritual and really didn't realize you was being stupid, according to the Bible. So what do you do? Well, you, what are you asking? You wouldn't, you wouldn't even go in that direction unless you would believe that God would give it to you, right? You wouldn't just shoot in the dark. No, you would... You would you'd say, well, I'm asked because I believe that this is available to me. Isn't that right? Sure it is. Or you wouldn't even be asking for it. Now, so after you've asked and then you believe, yes, this is available for me to have. Well, wait a minute. You're going to have to enter into have then. And the word have, take, and I looked it up several different times and several different, and receive is exact same word. Why, Pastor Mike, you mean I believe I have to have and I can't wear it? I can't drive it. I can't spend it. I can't smell it. I can't even see it. You don't receive from God with your five senses. If you're waiting on your five senses to give way before you say you have, you're not going to get very far. Try that in an elevator. I mean, we came in here early, turned some of the heaters on. We don't have all of them on or they'll burn us out of here. But we got a few heaters on, back part of the building and up here too for everybody. And uh, there's a thermostat back there. A while ago, I looked at this one and it's already went up several degrees. And I looked at it. I said, oh, that's a pretty good temperature in here. But I know some people like it warmer. So uh, I like it warmer myself. So I just turned the temperature. I knew the temperature gauge is going to go up. Well, it's going to go up to that level and stop. Well, what if I just said, well, that's okay. Just leave it that cool in here. It's cold outside, rainy. I said, well, let's leave it right there. Or you just looked at it and said, well, I, 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 I wish that that temperature would go up. That's what people do in prayer. They don't know they're stupid. I mean that in a good light. They don't know they're being stupid because the people that's teaching them are stupid. They just don't know. I'm not calling them stupid like people would say stupid. Like I would, I guess a better way would say ignorant of what the Bible actually teaches. I mean, what do they do? Everybody come up front, we're going to, Pray through. They don't know they're already through. Well, we're going to come up front and kneel at the altar. They don't know there's not an altar in the world that ever saved anybody. 
I'm not against coming up front. I'm not against prayer. Amen. I don't know anybody in their right mind would be against any kind of prayer. But we're talking about the prayer of faith. We're talking about the prayer of faith. You have to use the prayer of faith to receive anything from God. The prayer in the way, and it's up to you. It's not up to God. God cannot make you receive. You're the one that has to get in the zone I receive. Somebody called it the blessing zone. Maybe we did. We just call it the blessing zone. Well, how, do you, how did you know you had your prayer answered? Well, because it showed up. No. Mm -mm. Just read it. What is the prayer of faith? Ask, believe, and wait for it to show up. No. Faith is an aggressive word, an assertive word. It's not a passive word. It's not a word that you're not doing something. Well, I'm going to go out and make it happen. No. That's just your human power trying to choose, trying to make somebody do this or that. It won't last long. You know, they might stop doing that around you, but they'll just do it around all their other goofy friends. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> you too. Uh, you, might just, you might do it all right as long as you're watching a video or, or see us at Walmart or something. We're going to straighten up fly right. What about on the way home? What about when you go to, when you go to sleep? What about all that stuff? When you're by yourself? See? Faith doesn't work just because it's when you're at church. I mean, it would be good if it said, yeah, faith work. Ask, believe, receive at church. Well, we'd all have it made then. We, we could last an hour or two at church, you know. Or ask, believe, receive. Well, we just pray for a devotional time in the morning or at night. And the rest of the time, we just talk like an idiot or a fool or, or somebody don't even believe. The Bible calls us believers talk like a believer. The Bible calls us a believer. Many people even call themselves believers. Well, then talk like it. So what does a believer do? Believe, receive. So you have to talk just like you have it. Doesn't matter what it is. And God wants you to stretch it too. Well, I believe he could give me 25 bucks. What about 25,000? Uh, I'm doing good at just believing for $25. Well, what about if we need to build on the front entrance of the church? Can we believe God for $25,000? Uh, well, uh, uh, see, he's, 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 he's wanting to stretch us. See, don't use your faith just for you. Use your faith to be a blessing to other people too. Don't, don't, don't uh, use your faith just for your red shoes and your red hat and your red coat and your red dress and your red car. No, use your faith to be a blessing to use it to help other people too. Use that car to take somebody to church. Use that house for someone else to, to be a blessing to. Use, that, use those uh, clothes or shoes to you know, find out what size they wear or drive and, and give it to them. Amen. Ephesians 3.20 is more than you can think, dream, or imagine. You'll have so much left over, you can just give it away. You won't have room enough to receive it, Malachi says. See, it all starts with number one. What is the prayer of faith? If you don't know what the prayer of faith is, and you're wondering, I did a video, said, the prayer of hope is not the prayer of faith. Man, I had so many comments on that. You can go back on there and look at it. Uh, the prayer of hope is not the prayer of faith. Then we distinguish what it was. I mean, lawyers' kids got lined up in the house to listen to that video. Their mother's a lawyer, an attorney in a, in a law firm, and they lined up listening. Daddy had him listening. See, daddy, a daddy, a athletic trainer, personal trainer. He said all this time. He said, and he'd known me for years. I met him right here in this town. And uh, he showed up. He wound up living in one of our ministry houses. Then he got married, moved down to Texas. And uh, 
he said, man, I've listened to you all these years, but for some reason the revelation knowledge keeps growing in what God's given you. Well, I didn't quit studying, <laughs> so it's going to keep growing. And the gift in me, what I knew back then, shoot, that was probably 30-something years ago. What I knew back then, I've grown in it. The anointing is stronger. More people getting saved, more people getting healed, more people getting blessed, more people getting turned on and delivered, set free. But I'm growing too. I didn't stop. See, people say, well, how come you go to the university three times a year? Don't you want to be the best that you could be at growing with God? Don't you want to be the best that you can be? You know, why you do devotional time all the time? Don't you want to be the best that you could be? We well, you to keep growing. You can't miss a day. See, it's like watering a plant a little bit, a little bit of fertilizer. You can't even see that thing grow. But you do it every day for a while. Shoot. It's like, how'd they get so big? Every day. Every day. Read your Bible and pray every day and you'll grow, grow, grow. Don't read your Bible, don't pray every day and you'll shrink, shrink, shrink. Now that plant might be able to survive it. They are tell you it's looking at it, you know, but you let a little bit of hot sun hit it. <laughs> You're going to see a difference. See, you remember them trash bags? Hefty, hefty, hefty. And the other trash bag, wimpy, wimpy, wimpy. Which one are you? <laughs> it's up to you. It's not up to God. See, it's not begging God, pleading God, crying enough to God, whining, begging, pleading, shouting. It's not all that. It's prayer of faith that does it. No, I believe I receive. Went right then. I believe I have it. Well, I don't even have two pennies to rub together. Well, just saying that, you'll lose a penny. See, you have to say present tense. I believe I receive an abundance of wealth. Deuteronomy 8.18 says that you have the power of wealth to establish God's covenant on earth. Not just so you can pay all your bills. Although we believe in paying all the bills, but we honor God first. We don't just pay all the bills and then whatever's left over, give him some crumbs. No, don't do that. And we don't, we don't eat at McDonald's or whatever your favorite restaurant is. And then you go down the street to the other restaurant and give them the money. The police going to get you. See, that's a spiritual law broken. See, like you're eating on here right now. You're eating. You're getting fed very good. This wonderful meal of what is the prayer of faith. God's really broke it down good. That's just one. There's about 12 all together, probably more than that by the time we get done. And all you'd have to do is say, well, that's nice. I'm going to pay somewhere else. I'm going to give somewhere else, although you're eating right here. I'm going to eat at this restaurant of faith, but I'm going to go somewhere else and give it to them. That won't work. The blessing will not increase that way. Well, that's where I go. That's what I do. That's, so I heard one lady, she said, well, that's what I felt like God wants me to do. He'd be violating his word. He'd be violating his word if he did that. No, you give where you are fed. You're being fed right here. Amen. We're not trying to take up no offering, but we are trying to let you stay in the blessing of God so your faith can work. I've seen people correct that. Their faith just works like that. See? Amen. Be blessed today. We'll see you tomorrow on Thursday, Online Bible School. Thanks for coming to church with us on Wednesday night. Have a great one. Have a good one. God bless.